Hello everyone, this is your host Michael with the Cyber Union. We're just going to be picking up where we left off last time, where we had finished enumerating ports and services with an amazing tool called InMap. This week we're going to dive deeper into websites and web services to see what additional information we can gather before we begin our attack. We're going to cover four different tools, some manual methods, some automated methods, and one proxy, all built into Kali itself, so no need to download additional tools. Well, all that will be coming up, right? All right, let's get this thing going. We're going to pick up where we left off, which was enumerating web services that we identified in the service enumeration. Here we have identified a web service running on port 80 on the VM Metasploitable 2. So one of the next steps we want to take is to do a Nikto scan. And Nikto is a simple vulnerability scanner. Don't expect anything too crazy or in depth. It is just a good baseline scan to give you some quick information to work off of. Uh, the syntax is pretty simple. It's downloaded, or rather pre-installed in Kali. It's Nikto. You provide the host. And you provide the port that you want to test on. And that's it. Pretty simple. And it runs. Now this does take some time, so we'll do some movie land magic. And check out the results. So one of the things I want you to key in on is that it does identify some things we need to make note of which is DAV which is a really service to start hitting on. Uh, it allows you to upload files because most of the time it's not locked down from my experiences. PHP is another thing to make note of because you'll need to know what's being parsed on the web server when you start creating shells later on. Now the rest of these things you'll notice is just some vulnerabilities that's possibly detected. Now I want to caution you that none of this should be taken as gospel. This stuff is not necessarily true. Nothing works until we actually test it ourselves. So even though it's saying these things exist, we need to make sure we test it and validate the findings from the tools. Tools are just supposed to guide us to vulnerabilities. They're not the end all. Alright, so let's move on to the next uh, tool. Next we want to do some directory brute forcing. Now this tool goes hand in hand with another tool we'll visit later on which is called Spidering. But basically what it does is it guesses all the possible directories this web server has available. In the syntax is super easy and it does come pre-installed in Kali. So there's a brother tool called Durbuster, which is the GUI version, but I find that it errors out and I have issues with it. Derby, I've never had a problem with. So we just provide it which protocol it's using. We point it towards the web server and then let it run. We'll notice at the top that it does provide it a file to work off of, a wordless. And we can change that with our parameters we provide the tool when it runs. There are some already pre-built into Kali, feel free to use. Just go to this directory, user share derby word list, and see what else is available. Now I did cut it short because I have ran it already, some movie magic, so let's see what we have available. Um, as you can see it, it generated 4600 words, uh, and down here are all the results. Now I want you to pay attention to the response code we got from the server. This tells you whether or not our tool was able to successfully navigate to that resource. Anything other than a 200 is a no. Um, feel free to look up the response codes and get more familiar with those as you test web servers and services. You're going to need to know these types of things. Um, again, let's, with this what we're looking for is interesting things like PHP MyAdmin, CGI Bin. These are all things that come up with exploitation pretty frequently. And you want to make sure you're using that note taking system we've talked in other videos and documenting these things. We don't want to go to them right yet, but we do want to list them and go to them later when we're ready to. But we're still enumerating them. Um, so I'm not going to go over the rest of these, but take a second, look at this information and see what other kind of great details you can garner from it. 
Now, this is the manual way to pull these in. There is a tool built into Kali called Sparta, and it kind of does all this automatically for you. All you do is load in the host, and you tell it to run, and boom, you get a port scan, just like we've already done with Nmap, and you have all the list of services. So it did the version detection for you as well. Now, we also have follow-up scans, so after it identifies a certain service running, it'll do follow-up scans. In this case, it's already run Nikto for us. It's even screenshotted to show us what it's doing, and it's done other services as well, such as MySQL. If you look here, it shows that there's already been a valid password, so that would be one of the first things I would check out, That since we got a password. So, like I said, this is a pretty automatic way to do things. Now I wanted to show you the manual way so that you know what tools are running in the background because realistically Sparta is doing the same thing we were doing just automatically and all by itself. Alright so those are the three common tools you can use for web service enumeration. One final one is going to be a transparent proxy built into Kali as well and it's free just like your other tools and I'm not going to go too deep into this because this can be a whole class in itself. This is Zed's attack proxy. Again, it's built into Kali. And what this does is it allows you to capture traffic before you send it to the web server and manipulate it and change it to try to get some interesting responses. You can also spider the website. What that means is it's automatically following all the links to try to enumerate more directories for you. So this kind of works in tandem with your directory brute forcing tool, DIRB. Uh, one additional quality it does have in place is that it does some vulnerability scanning itself. As you can see here, it's detected some path traversals. These are things you should look at as well when you start attacking. One final thing to keep in mind is that this has the capability to brute force any field in your request. And you'll start learning about this later as we get into more attacks because like I said, it can go a lot more in depth on how to set this bad boy up and get it to run the way you want it to run. But we're going to end this video right here. Hopefully you got a lot out of it and you're going to be able to do some of these things on your own. Now let me know if you do have any trouble so we can make another video and kind of dig into some areas that were problematic for you. Uh, if there's anything else you would like for us to show you here on the YouTube channel, please let us know. We're happy to either create a video or write a blog for you. Make sure you check out our blog at thecyberunion.com. Like, share, and subscribe so we know how you feel about our content. And we'll see you next time here on the channel.